Want to get your thought because on Friday, last Friday, just a few days ago, uh, downgraded the industry uh, outlook now to a negative from a stable. Uh, why? Well, why? Of course, it's the virus and the uncertainty that it's, it breeds and is thrust upon all of us. So uh, the U.S. airlines and the global airlines, we've had, had a stable outlook for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this event is just too great to maintain that position. There's a lot of concern at this time. The key factor is the uncertainty of the duration that this is with us and then the effects on the on demand and cash flows because of it. So the last time you downgraded this sector, I shouldn't say downgrade, revised the outlook to negative from a stable was in the fourth quarter of 2018. What are the parallels of uh, this year relative to that time? So uh, I'm sorry, 2008 or 18? 18. The, the last time you revised the sector to a, a negative from a stable was was Q4 of 18. Okay, I, I apologize. Actually, it was it was earlier on, 2008. Frankly. Okay. So I'm, I'm sorry for that okay. if, if that was some bad information, but uh, you know it was around the financial crisis right. at that time. Frankly, so the industry has had a solid run since coming out of the financial crisis. Truthfully, back then, uh, the great concern was the liquidity, the the company's liquidity profile. Mm. And our median rating in that time, 2007, leading into the crisis, was B1. Today, it's BA1. So there's a much stronger foundation for the airlines to manage a crisis. Our change to negative today indicates that we do have concerns and focus that uh, you know, the foundation may weaken a bit. So that's why we made that change. And as you note in your note, Jonathan, um, you're, you're focused on the operating margin. Um, they're coming down. They're still within kind of a band that would point to stable. How much risk is in there in that forecast? How much could we see operating margins dip below four or five percent? Amanda, there's definitely risk in that forecast. You know, a lot of uncertainty this time. Uh, the companies are, are sprinkling out some information of the way they're reducing their capacity. They have a lot of levers to pull. But uh, right now, we are making our own assumptions about the depth of uh, impact to demand and how the companies will react. So uh, we've uh, also, that's a bottom-up forecast. Our 9% coming into the year where we kept it at stable was bottom-up for the 20-some-odd companies that we rate. And, uh, you know, so we're still, this is an ongoing process. It's evolving with each day. You know, there's more news. Mm -hmm. So there is definitely risk in that forecast.